Hey everybody, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here today. Today's video, I'm not in my kitchen, which is new, right? Today's video is an Ipsy unboxing, or I should say unbagging because it came in a bag. So if you're not familiar with Ipsy, and actually this is my first time getting Ipsy, so I'm not overly familiar with it, but it's a like makeup, skin care sort of monthly subscription uh, box bag, depending on what you get. And, you know, we've been home for a long time now. And <laughs> it's not like I'm going anywhere and wearing makeup. And I'm not a big makeup person anyway. Why is that? Well, let me tell you why I think it is. A, because I have never wanted to get up super early to do makeup and do my face. I'd much rather sleep. <laughs> and um, I've never really learned how to do like really good makeup. I mean, I can do the very, very basics, um, but I don't wear a lot of makeup. So I have mascara on today and this is me made up, made up, right? And super made up for me, might add some lip color. But what I do enjoy is uh, uh, blah, skincare, blah, find my words. What I do enjoy is skincare and not that I'm great at it and not that I want to take the time to do that either. I have a lot of room for improvement, but I will definitely do like a shorter routine with some serum and moisturizer and um, things like that. I'm not so hip on the, the overnight masks or the put them on for 20 minutes, wash them off. Um, and really it's because I am that lazy, you guys. <laughs> But I am in my 50s, my early 50s, and I do enjoy finding new moisturizers and serums and stuff that feel good on my skin and work for me. So I decided to try Ipsy. Now, Ipsy has, from what I can tell, three different levels of subscriptions, and I just went with the basic glam bag, which is five trial size products a month and it's like 12 bucks so it's totally affordable if you hate something you're not breaking the bank and that's where i am right now i i can't afford to do like these hundreds of dollars and and all of that but i wanted a little bit of fun now for me and hopefully uh, a way to discover a couple of new products that i'm not aware of that maybe i can put into my regimen so i got the basic lamb bag five trial size products a month they also have something where you can get five full-size products a month, and I believe that's about $25. And there's another one that I think you get quarterly. Maybe it's eight full-size products for $35-ish. Don't quote me on those prices, um, but from what I remember, that's what it is. So today, we are going to open my very first Ipsy envelope, and this is what it comes at. This is why I say envelope. So it's really cute, it's pink, and when I first pulled it out of my mailbox, it was just this size with the mailing label, and um, I wasn't really sure what it was, because I knew I hadn't ordered anything new from Amazon or anything, but I turned it over, and it is my Ipsy bag. So this is one of those padded, bubbly envelopes, so I'm assuming everything made it safely. Um, I, haven't even, I haven't even opened it at all yet. I have no idea what's in it. We are discovering this together. So without further ado, let's take a look. All right, so it's pretty easy to open. I have scissors nearby, but I did not need them. And the first thing I see is a little makeup bag. And isn't that cute? Okay, so, and it's got uh, like mascara wands and nail polish bottles and the Ipsy logo on it. And that's adorable and maybe everything's in here i don't know if you get this makeup bag every time let's see what else do we have okay there are a couple things in here so i have to say that this first um envelope this first uh month that i got i believe is like the editor's favorite uh, as soon as you sign up, they say, oh, we're going to send you all of our, our you know, best liked, most liked uh, products or whatever for the past, maybe it's from the past month. I'm not really sure. Um, so they get this out to you right away. I think I only signed up for this last week, so it hasn't been very long. 
which is awesome, right? Because as soon as you sign up for something, you get so excited and you start looking for it. At least I know I do. I could be looking for it the next day knowing darn well it won't be there. <laughs> So that's the first thing. And then I did receive an email a couple days ago about next month's um, products. And it allowed me to choose one of my five out of a whole variety of things. And then they surprise you with the other four. So I thought that's nice. You get a little bit of a say, but um, you still get surprised. And when you sign up, you go through this whole thing that that's several screens on your computer of, what are your favorite colors? What shades do you like? Do you, you know, are you interested in skincare? Are you interested in lipstick or eyeshadow or whatever? So they really try and narrow down the things that they're gonna send you to where your interests are, which I like. We'll see if it's accurate, but I liked it. So the first thing we have is this makeup brush. And if you guys know me, you know I can't see without these. So here we are. Do I look a hundred in these? Um, and this is, oh, I like it. It's like a gray, grayish blue. Oh, and this is really nice, actually. It's kabuki, and it's textured. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. It's textured for good grip. And then this side right here is smooth. So it feels really nice in your hand. Um, now, I am not a makeup brush person because I don't, wear a lot of makeup and honestly you guys don't tell i don't even know what i would use this brush for <laughs> but it's pretty and it feels good and i'm sure I, I i don't know but i'll hang on to it somebody will know if you know what what to use this size brush for and let me show you the tip of it okay if you know what to use this size brush for Will you leave it down in the comments so I have a clue? That would be awesome. Thank you. But it's very soft and it's pleasant to hold. So this is the first thing that came. This Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. Ooh, and I like that. So it's in this like sample box. Okay. And let's see. The box is really soft and smooth. It's, it's very nice. Um, lash changing power brush wraps every lash from base to tips for super volume, super length, super elastic stretch. Now, I like mascara. I'm definitely a mascara person. I don't know what that means when they say super elastic stretch on my eyelashes. I'm not sure I quite understand that. It sounds fun. So I will definitely be trying this out. And yeah, this is just a small bottle, right? But we know this because it is all samples, superhero. And it looks like it's black. Yes, it is. Super black is the color. Let's take a look. What does this brush look like? Okay. So I will definitely be trying this. I love mascara. So there we go. So that is two of the items. Now, I don't know if this bag counts as an item or not. Let's see what's inside. Oh no, there were three items in here. So this bag, I guess is sort of like a bonus. I like it. All right, Gold Fadden MD Bright Eyes Dark Circle Radiance Concentrate. So I am assuming, okay, I can't even read on the back. It's just one drop on a fingertip, I believe. And maybe it helps with dark circles under your eyes. Oh, there we go. Let's focus. Can we get focused? Gold fat and MD. Okay, and it is small. It's definitely a sample. It's 0.133 ounce. Um, but you know, the eye stuff typically goes a long way. A small amount goes a long way. So I will try this. I like the eye stuff, the eye creams. Um, and then, oh, this is cute. 12 in one magic by Foxy Bay. Foxy Bay. Um, B-A-E, as in like Bay, like girlfriend or boyfriend, not as in Bay, a body of water. <laughs> 12 in 1 Magic Daily Leave-In Hair Mask. Ooh, look at that. 
daily leave-in hair mask. That sounds fun. What does it smell like? Oh, it's got the little thing on here. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's not a very strong smell. It's pleasant. Yeah, I, I could have this in my hair all day and not have it bug me smell-wise. And that's a nice little size. It is one ounce. So not bad. And then, oh, there's a welcome card in here too. All right, we'll get to that. Lastly, for the last item, shopvioletvoss.com. Violet Voss eyeshadow. This is an eyeshadow. So let's take a look and see. It's called Bear It All. That is the color. Can I figure out how to open it is the question. Uh, all right, you guys, I'm struggling with opening the eyeshadow. All right. Oh, this is a cute little thing. And let's see. Oh, open on this side. Ooh, sparkly. Now, it, the color is there at all, so I was thinking sort of a light nude color. Look at that, you guys. Can you see the sparkles? I don't know if you can see the sparkles, but it's all sparkly. I like that. Okay, this I will probably try out. Probably not in the very near future because where am I going? But this is a color I would definitely use, and I, I like the sparkle. So, um, yeah, this I will probably definitely try out at some point. Oh, maybe... Do I use my brush for this? This doesn't seem like an eyeshadow brush, but I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know. And then lastly, which probably should have been first, is this card. It says, welcome. Your first monthly treat yourself moment is here. Yay! It actually says yay. <laughs> and that means you're officially a member of the Ipsy community. Your self-expression journey starts now with best of the best assortment valued at $50 plus, okay, in an iconic Ipsy makeup bag from top rated community faves to editor must haves. After this, we'll tailor each bag according to what you want. Okay, not bad. Open up and see what you discover. Oh, okay, and then on here, it has all of the products that came in the bag and little descriptions of each one. So that's pretty cool. What does it say about the brush? Uh, Ipsters loves a good multitasker. That's why we chose this mini but mighty makeup brush that does it all. With a rounded tip and densely packed bristles, it's perfect for buffing concealer under your eyes and around your nose and for blending on eyeshadow. Hmm. And then it tells you how to wash it. So interesting. So I guess I can use it for the eyeshadow. I don't know that I've ever used concealer though. I know I don't have any. I wouldn't even know what to do with it really. I should probably know this, right? In my 50s, I should probably get familiar <laughs> with concealer. It may be a welcome, a, a welcome change, a welcome addition to my face. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then on the back of this card, it says three ways to get a more you bag. Want to make next month's glam bag even more epic and personalized? And then it tells you how to do that. So that is very cool. All right, that is very cool. I'm excited about the products I got um, and my makeup bag. I love these things. Do you guys, okay, I'm gonna date myself even though I already told you how old I am, but do you guys remember when it was really popular, you'd be able to go into like the department stores and at the makeup or perfume counters, get a free bag, buy whatever and get a free bag? Well, I was all about that. And I can't tell you how many bags that I got. Super cute really useful if you use that sort of thing never used them and how many bags have i thrown away since then <laughs> but i do like this this is really cute and this would be awesome for just like a little weekend thing for hair ties um dental floss small amounts of makeup lip gloss whatever so i am excited about this bag and i'm actually really excited about all of the products in here i'll use the eye stuff and the mascara and all that the brush we shall see but um, yeah, my first Ipsy bag, I can't complain you guys. I'm super excited about it. So that is it for my first unboxing with Ipsy. And 
thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I, I plan to do it every month as I continue my Ipsy subscription. I'll keep doing unboxing so you guys can see what it looks like month to month. Am I getting what I asked for? Are they truly tailoring it to me and my needs or my wants? Or is that just sort of a line? I don't know. But if you've had any experience with Ipsy, go ahead and leave me a message down below and tell me your thoughts on it and if you've enjoyed it or not. Um, and if not, ride along with me and I will tell you my thoughts on it. <laughs> and we can go through this together. So thank you, you guys, for showing up today. Thank you for joining me on my unboxing. Um, I'm super excited to try this stuff. And I hope you have a great day. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.